Hello and welcome to part three of Machine Knitting for Beginners. Uh, this is Charlie again. Um, I'm going to show you how to do a very quick and dirty cast on um, and knit uh, just a tension swatch over a few stitches. So you will need one knitting machine. You will need a cone of four ply acrylic yarn. That's what you just have to get started with. You will need a cast on comb or any other straight edge. Um, you will need a ravel cord. A ravel cord is a piece of finely knotted or finely woven um, nylon cord. It needs to be slippery, not particularly stretchy and not at all fluffy. Uh, cotton will not do. Um, so these normally come with knitting machines, but you can get them, get lengths of cord at John Lewis if you need. Um, and then finally, you will need to have two knitting machine weights, which look a bit like that, claw weights. Okay, and I'll show you where they come in later. Now, the first thing we're going to do we are going to thread our machine up. Now normally you'd put the yarn on the floor behind the machine but because I've got a special uh, machine knitting table I'm going to put the yarn down here. Okay then I'm going to get the end of the yarn and the first thing place we're going to go is we're going to thread it up through the yarn tension unit here. So the first thing it goes is up through here like so. Okay and then we're going to go even further up and it is going to go over and through these tension discs and I always turn these little knobs till it's got quite towards the plus end of the tension scale okay and then it's going to come through here like so and then finally we're going to get one of the big long aerials Okay, and we're going to slide the yarn down through the aerial or feed it through the hole if you'd prefer. Okay, like that. And normally you will find that there is um, a little yarn clip here. Whoops. I'm going to have let go because I'm going to need it. So hold on, let's bring this all the way back down again. Okay, I'm going to feed it through here. Okay, and then there's a yarn clip um, halfway down the tension mast which you can clip the yarn into and your yarn will broadly stay where it is for the moment. Okay, so now we've got our yarn threaded up, we can now turn our attention to the actual knitting machine. Now this time I'm going to bring 20 needles either side of zero and I'm going to bring them all the way forwards. Okay, um, so if I find my zero point, find up to 20 on one side and up to 20 on the other side, whoops that's too many, Okay, and bring them all the way forwards. Okay, and then actually if I just slide this over it a few times, it will take the needles back and line them all up nicely. So they are now in position B, normal working position. The next thing I need to do is um, attach my sinker plate to the carriage. So let me get that out. And you attach this on like that screw it in and I'm going to thread my yarn through. Okay, I'm going to use tension dial somewhere in the middle. This one goes from 0 to 9, so I'm using 5. Some of them go from 0 to 11, so you might use 6, whatever. Okay, I'm going to get my yarn and in this particular instance this one has to go underneath a little thing there and then it goes behind a little clip and it goes straight through the middle. I'm just going to wind it a few times around one of the clamps just to keep it in place for the minute. Okay, my first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to slowly and, and firmly uh, knit across and you'll see it knits a row of not stitches but just holds the yarn in place. Let me show you. Okay, so if you have a look carefully you can see there's no stitches there, just a whole bunch of zigzags. I'm just going to check the end stitches to make sure they are pulled nicely through. Now here's my quick and dirty tip. Okay, if you want to just get going and you don't mind having a really rough edge, this was not an edge you would use for any knitting you want to keep, but it's not a bad just way of doing a, a quick and dirty piece of knitting. Okay, you get your ravel yarn and you put it between the sinkers on one side, okay, and then you put it between the sinkers after the last stitch on the other side, like that, so it's on the outside of all the sinkers, okay. Oh, but not in the needles. And then what you do is you hold 
the Ravel Yarn down like that with both hands. Okay, and with it held down with both hands, we're still going to make sure that this is nice. This yarn here is nice and taut. Okay, so it's not going around. I'm going to knit a row. Now, by holding that down, I've actually come successfully knitted a row of actual loops, and I'm going to knit a total of four rows like that. So I've done two, three, four, and once I've done four, I now have enough knitting. I can pull the Ravel yarn out carefully, like so, and I can go. Now the last thing I need to do before I do any serious knitting is I need to hang these weights on because the stitches just need a little bit of help um, coming off the end. Now you've got to be careful where you hang the weight. The first row after doing it, you don't want the machine to hit the weights too much, so you've got to hang them fairly sensibly, but you want to hang them such that they catch the last stitch that's what we're trying to get we're trying to avoid pulling the last stitch off okay and then we're going to do it on the other side so that i can hang it on the last stitch there now as i said the first row might be a little bit um uh grunchy the other thing i'm going to do you'll see here i've got a little thing i can flick forward which will then make the row counter count so let's go have a look and see one two now at this point with a bit of luck you should be able to see the knitting getting longer and longer and longer. And there you go. You are knitting your very own tension swatch. And you can see how quick it is to build up a large piece of cloth. Now, if I want to get some tighter knitting, I can always turn the tension belt down. So now I'm going to get some really tight knitting and you can be able to see with a bit of luck, after a few rows, you'll be able to see that the knitting looks really, really taut and closely knit. I don't like this sort of knitting personally, um, but it was very popular with 1950s knitwear. There you go, very, very, very tight knitting. Okay, and then if I go up to 10, you'll get very, very loose knitting, like was popular in the 1980s. And you should immediately see just turn up the handle that my knitting is much much more open there you go medium very tight and very loose that is the basics of how a knitting machine works um, i will come on to other ways of casting on in the next video and then in after videos after that we'll show you how you can shape and change and do some fancy stitches. But that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.